I'm Michael Dominic, and tonight I am making garlic chicken with a lemon anchovy pan sauce. If you're feeling lazy and want a cozy night in, this simple recipe is perfect for you. But if you're feeling fancy and want to impress your dinner party guests, even better. Let's gather our ingredients and get them ready for the pan. First, grab a head of garlic and break off six or seven cloves. Use a garlic peeler to make peeling them a breeze. Put one to the side and give the rest a good smash. Next, take the one remaining clove and mince it well. Cut a lemon in half. Juice one half of the lemon and set the other aside. Make sure you take those pesky seeds out. Don't be put off by the idea of anchovies. They add a wonderful depth of flavor to the sauce. You won't even know that they're there. We're using five fillets for this recipe, or fillets if you're British. Roughly chop some fresh parsley. Rinse two tablespoons of capers. Be sure to pat the capers dry with a paper towel, not shown here. You want to salt and pepper your chicken thighs generously on both sides. Before we make the sauce, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now heat a large oven-safe pan over medium-high heat. Pour four tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. That's a quarter cup if you want to make your life easier and not spoon it out. Test the oil like so. If it sizzles, we're ready to make the sauce. Add the smashed garlic cloves, capers, anchovies, and red pepper flakes. Now I forgot to add the red pepper initially, but I realized my mistake and I added them a minute later, though I failed to film it. Stir everything together and cook for four to six minutes until the garlic is nicely browned and the anchovies have dissolved into the sauce, like magic. Now seat your chicken well in the sauce. Give them a little wiggle if you need to. As long as they fit in the pan without overlapping, you're good. Now don't mess with them. Let them cook undisturbed for about seven minutes. However, you should move the sauce about so nothing burns. After seven minutes, check to see if the chicken comes away easily from the pan and are nice and brown on the underside. Flip the chicken thighs over and transfer the entire pan to the center rack of your preheated oven. After 10 minutes, take it out and put it back on the range. Be careful, that handle is hot. Transfer the chicken thighs to a plate. Turn the fire back on under your pan. Add the minced garlic and the lemon juice that you squeezed earlier. Use a wooden spoon to scrape up any bits from the bottom of the pan and cook for about a minute to incorporate them into the sauce. Now slide the chicken and its juices back into the pan and cook for another one to two minutes. That's it. Transfer the chicken onto a serving platter and pour that delicious pan sauce over the top Squeeze the other half of the lemon, sprinkle it with parsley, and you're done. Lovely. I'm serving it tonight with a seasoned mashed potato. And now, the final test. Success. If you like this video and would like me to make more, like, subscribe, and comment, and maybe I will. I'm not promising anything though.